Our next speaker is Nishka Paul. Nishka is a 16-year-old student who has a passion for music and theater. She loves to journal and read about philosophy. She joined TMS in grade 10, relocating from the national capital region of Gurgaon with her family. Reflecting on her journey, where her life underwent drastic change almost overnight, she sees change as a necessary catalyst for evolution. Change is the only constant. How many of us have heard that line before? It's the go-to line for all life coaches, motivational speakers, or anyone who's tried to make us feel better when things get tough. And yet, change is far from comforting. It's messy, it's unsettling, and it almost never asks for your permission. Good evening, everyone. Today, I want to talk about how change knocked on my door. And like the most of us would, I completely ignored it. But as it turns out, change doesn't wait for you to be ready. It sneaks in, appends your life, and suddenly, everything you thought you knew is different. So let's go back to two years ago. There I was, a grade 10 student, studying at my school in Gurgaon, India. I had my friends, my family, my routines, and a familiar environment around me that made me feel safe. I was gearing up for my exams, already planning on how I'd have the most epic summer ever. But life had other plans. One evening, my parents sat me down, and they told me that we were relocating to Dubai. New country, new city, new school, new friends, new everything. And what's more, my grandparents weren't coming with us. In just a month, I found myself thousands of kilometers away. The familiarity of my home, my friends, the people I'd grown up with were suddenly just memories. I remember everything felt foreign. I felt like I didn't belong. And I couldn't help but ask myself, why me? Why now? It's one thing to hear that change is good for you. It's another to feel like you're drowning in it. My first few weeks at the new school, I'd spend all my lunch times alone, sitting in a corner of the classroom pretending to read. It was my safe space where I could avoid the awkwardness of trying to fit in. Slowly but surely, I began to adapt. One evening, I found myself in the school's music room auditioning for an event. And to my surprise, I felt a spark of connection. You see, it wasn't about impressing anyone, and it wasn't about being perfect. It was just about being present, about letting myself be part of something again. Just like that, I realized that change brings opportunity a chance to grow. I started helping my parents more at home, cooking simple meals, taking care of my brother. These were things that I never had to do back in India. But here in Dubai, they became small ways of grounding myself. Introduced to theater, I found a side of myself I didn't know existed. A leader, a storyteller, someone who could connect with people even when words failed. I learned to work with people from various different backgrounds, each with their own stories of change and adaptation. And it led me to realize that everyone, in one way or another, is dealing with their own version of upheaval, their own challenge. And sometimes, it's these very challenges that shape us into who we're meant to be. And what's true for me is true universally as well. How far are the dark years of COVID now? Isn't it strange how everything we knew changed 
almost overnight. And yet, it was these years of loss and sorrow that boosted small businesses by 20% and more, our biggest surge yet. And that, my friends, is true for all. Because you see, that's the thing about change. It doesn't just disrupt, it also reveals. It shows you what you're capable of when everything else is stripped away. Would I have discovered hidden talents, made meaningful friendships, or discovered a passion for new subjects if I had stayed in my comfort zone? Probably not. But change forced me to confront my fears, to embrace uncertainty, and to grow in ways I never thought possible. So, the next time change knocks on your door, don't rush to close it. Take a deep breath, open it, and see what happens. You never know. You might just end up somewhere extraordinary. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Boyle.